Next one is uh, from Guy. And uh, this one here is just as awesome as uh, the last one from Paul, I think. Like I said, um, this uh, this week's uh, live streams, um, they're going to be amazing. I'm going to have a hard time picking seven favorites. Um, this one here is um, about actually making what looks like a violin inside of Fusion. That's awesome. Now, the question is, and, um, and Guy actually sent me, whoops. Uh, send me a screenshot. Let's go back into here and let me just open up this image. Guy sends me this image here um, and um, talking about how he has a spline here and he has the spline here and he's looking for a spline to go between here uh, that is kind of like in relationship to the two. Um, now, I'm going to show... I'm. I'm I'm gonna show you how I would do that, guy. But I'm actually, I actually don't think I would. So, the guy is talking about he want a loft between uh, these shapes. I would actually probably use sculpt, and I'm gonna show you that too because um, <laughs> why not? So uh, let me just. This was infusion team. I'm gonna switch out of this. I'm actually gonna get out of this, and I'm gonna go back to my my own uh, individual account. What I should, you can actually import all this over to Fusion Team all your different libraries and that's what I should do, but I haven't had the time to do that. Um, I'll get to it. This is a weekend project for me now. All right, um, Guy, so uh, let me just emulate what you kind of have here. I would, but I would take, I would use symmetry, of course. So I'm just gonna move this over my screen so I can just kind of like, on my second screen so I can take a look at it. Um, I'm gonna start out by creating a line here. I don't know how long, how long is a violin? Somebody tell me that. Uh, and then I'm going to use the spline tool and I'm going to do about the same. I'm going to do the same points you had, but I'm not going to make it as pretty probably as you did, guy. So there we have kind of like the first spline segments. I'm going to make sure this is these two are horizontal here. And then maybe I'll start moving some of these spline points over. So what I have is kind of the outer of the... Uh, the out of a guy's spline points here. I have kind of done the same thing here. And uh, and what you will see that guy actually did, uh, what I favor is when he was all done, he right clicked and he actually fixed it. That's why his is green. Now then he also has a kind of an inside in here. So, uh, so let's do that quick. Another spline point, so. He has fewer spline points and that one looks something like that. Okay, um, so what Guy is asking is, I always like to get these um, normal, is how do I now make a transition between the two? Because Guy is trying to loft between these. I don't imagine that Guy want to go in and do some surface lofting uh, in here, I would imagine. Um, the only way that I really know how to do this, um, I don't know there's a really good way to do this guy, would be, um, I would probably, uh, so when I did all this in one sketch, I would probably start creating some helping geometry, right? So <clears throat> you could, you could potentially, you know, go in and create line geometry from these two points. And uh, if you select it, you could make it a construction geometry and you could kind of line up these points and start a spline from here. Make sure it goes through that uh, midpoint, that midpoint, that midpoint and help some helping geometry. And you could do that. That is probably uh, the best way that I could think about doing this guy. But I wouldn't do this in the first place. I would use sculpts. Um, so this here is, uh, to me, just, I'm, I'm, this just yells sculpt to me. But I think you're trying to achieve is kind of like this con, I don't know, convex shape, concave, convex, convex shape. So this is what I would do. I would use this as a reference, um, but I would go into the uh, sculpt environment in here. I would create kind of like a plane geometry, and this is not going to be perfect. Uh, like I've said before, inside the sculpt environment, um, it's really about how much time you're spending in here. 
to make things perfect. But I would probably go in here and uh, and create something that maybe looks. I don't know how many I want in here. Something like this. Um, so this here is um, is kind of flat on this, and I hope that this kind of like maybe just inspires you to to think about this guy. Um, and I would go in and um, I would probably just select this edge. Let's go into the side view here and let's start pulling that up a little bit there. Um, maybe we want more, we probably want more like a shape like that. You could see that kind of, what do you think guy? I mean, like, I don't know much about violins. Um, so kind of pulling up that, what I think that that's what you, you kind of want to loft is kind of this shape, right? Um, and then at this point you could, and this is not going to be accurate either, but, um, this is probably the easiest way to do this. If I double click on this face and do that edit form, and you might have to watch some more of my, uh, of my, my sculpt environments but you can kind of start playing and what i'm really looking at here is probably trying to match to follow that shape you had on the outside now i could if i if i hold down uh, my alt key and i grab this one i can actually kind of make more segments and i can kind of start twisting uh, more holding out alt key and i'm kind of twisting this to be somewhat um somewhat perpendicular in some regard to this. I might have to come back and, and select some more, but I think you kind of probably gonna start getting what I'm, I'm trying to do here. Um, so hold down all, you can add more faces and I'm kind of like just trying to, to make this somewhat close and, and make it somewhat uh, perpendicular. Now, if I wanted to, I could go back and double click on this edge uh, and I could start dragging this out. So I'm kind of trying to follow uh, these edges and, um, and and follow the shape you have down here, okay? Now, when you look at this now, you will see from the side view that I'm really starting to, I'm, I'm getting that shape that you want probably in here. Um, now, I've said this before, when it comes to sculpting, um, the more time you you spent on uh, playing with a lot of these, you can even go into points in here. Uh, the more time you spent to kind of like correcting the shape, and this takes practice. Um, the more you're doing with that, the better it's going to get. But what I would probably do in the end, I would keep on doing this um, all the way, all the way around. Um, all the way around here. So at this point, I might try to just kind of like creating more of a twist here. Um, maybe I'll I even kind of go up on this point here and try to kind of bring that segment back. Double click on that, hold down the, and, and I could sit here literally for hours and make, and that's what I would do by the way. Uh, guy is I would sit here for hours and just kind of play around with this and make it uh, about as smooth as could but what I would do in the end so now you can kind of see how we we get this this texture um, I would create another one of these on that same plane um, and I would draw one rectangle up kind of more of a flat segment there um, I'm gonna say okay to that Actually, let me do one more of those. Do that one more time because what I actually would do is I would add some, draw one up here and uh, maybe not this way. Oops, sorry. <laughs> what I want to show you before I finish this I'll do one more. I want to put some more segments in here. Um, and then, so now I have, I just created another flat one down there. Now I'm going to take that one and I'm going to move it up to uh, kind of the same height. 
uh, of the other one you just saw. Ah. I'm trying to select the whole thing without selecting what we just had. There we go. Um, let me just move that up to about the same height as maybe a little bit higher. So now that is sitting up there. Um, so now what we could actually do um, is select this edge. Maybe make this a little wider. Maybe I add another segment in here. Um, so now what I would do here is I would start using uh, the weld vertices. Not vertices. I would use the... I would use merge edges. And then now I could go in here and say this, these three edges here, I want to merge those three with these edges here. Hit OK. Right? So now you can kind of see how uh, that is merging together. I can go back in here and see repeat merge edges. So I want to err uh, these three here. See how my card is moving? There's something going on with a space mouse. Merge these three together. Um, so you can kind of start seeing how I am actually merging these two edges with these two edges here. Okay, and you could continue down this path. What you're seeing I'm getting um, here, of course, is kind of what you are, are looking at. You could just continue uh, literally down, literally down this edge right now. You could go back in, right-click edit form. You can select these four edges again, hit down your alt key, and now we could keep on kind of working, working on all this. And then in the end, we could go down and we could, uh, we could thicken all this out. But this is how I would, would do what you're trying to do, guy. And I think you're going to find this, um, I think you're going to find this a lot more continuous, a lot more smooth, uh, a lot more, hopefully, hopefully a lot more awesome. What do you think, guy? Thumbs up if you like this. Thumbs down if you don't. That's okay. Love the comments. Anybody have anything to add to this? Um, yeah. And then in the end, I would, of course, mirror it over for the symmetry uh, sake.